So I finally got my shock from Amazon and uh, figured out a way to attach it. And I created this beefed up horizontal crossbar and kind of made a little T section there and decided while I was at it I'd add some uh, cross braces here just in case this thing decided to flip up and smack me in the back of the head. Alright, this is the first time it's on its rear wheel. Everything's just tacked down, so hopefully nothing will break. But I'm curious to see how much this will sink down. I got my full weight in here now. Bouncing around a little bit. Not a lot. There we go. Okay. Originally, this was supposed to be down about five inches. So I had a slope in the back going downhill rather than level or uphill the way it sits now. So got my brake attached here. I'm gonna see if I can't put a counter bend in here. No, it's kind of cool. Looks more like a fish. I think I'll stick that back there. I'll make a nice rear bumper too. So the front wheels that I'm going to be using are off of a KX125 Yamaha dirt bike. Got two of them um, a long time ago off of uh, eBay. They're aluminum wheels, disc brakes. Um, the only problem I had is that the axles that these come with are only 12 millimeter in diameter. Uh, not strong enough for what I need. On Amazon, I noticed they sell axles for pit bikes, rear wheel pit bikes, 15 millimeter in, in um, diameter, which is good enough for me. They also sell bearings, 15 millimeter ID, and the 32 millimeter cup OD that this is. So the one problem I had though was spacers that came with these two little guys, this big axle, but they're not taking into account that this has a little flange right in the middle there. Uh, so spacers was an issue. Luckily I had a pipe here that fits right in there. And this is what I'm going to use. It's a little thin wall, um, not as thick as I would like. It is three quarter inch tubing. So I'll use that for my spacer. Uh, these though, unfortunately, are only nine millimeter inches wide. These came with 10. So that's two millimeters uh, longer of a spacer than I'm gonna need in comparison to what came with the bike. So to take these out, I just took a hole punch, put it in there, got on the inside of the bearing, tapped it out, came out pretty easily to slip them in. I put it over the uh, cup here and I have a little one and a half inch uh, closet dowel that I just popped it in, flush to that. Still has to go in further for the seal. This is an inch and a half tubing that I had. I put it on my disc sander, got a little narrower so I can go beyond that lip and until it's seated into the uh, hub. So that's my wheel. So the front suspension I've decided to go with is basically very similar to Dale Malawicki's California Commuter. Um, it's fairly simple. Mine has become a little complex because I've brought the wheels further out. On his, he was able to do his control arms, just um, from his little twisty joysticks, right to the uh, uh, steering knuckle assembly. Very simple. Here, I've got to do it different. And unfortunately, uh, I am going to be encountering some bump steer because the steering box is fixed while the suspension is going up and down. So these are all the little things that I'm playing with. What started out as being simple, it's kind of gotten a little complex, but I'm still going to go with it because I'm this far into it. And if it doesn't work, I can always go back to wishbone suspension, right? We'll see. This next part kind of covers the tedious task of creating the uh, axle assembly that attaches to the kingpin. Now I was hoping to find three quarter by inch and a half uh, rectangular tubing, three sixteenths thick, but I couldn't find any, so I had to fabricate my own. I'm going to be taking this section here 
and I'll be cutting it down to about here. And I'll be putting a plate across. And then what I'm going to do is pass my axle through that, like so. I ordered this 15 millimeter drill bit off Amazon. A couple bucks came the next day. That'll be what I'll use to drill holes in my metal for the axle. I'm going to be cutting the head off, saving the threads, and I'll be welding it like so once that's cut off. And I'll have a real solid axle that won't do any of this. Here's a chunk of wood that I'm going to use to prototype. It's Step one. Even though this is a downward shot of my wheel, it's pretty much set up to where I'm looking straight forward. This way. Here's the ground representation here. Here's my tire patch. Where we want the uh, spindle to be aligned is one inch in from the tire. So that's where that lays. Now I'll go ahead and I'll mark the angle. And that'll be the angle that we'll cut these at. So I got so far into the cut here, and I don't want to go all the way through. Then in order to cut this end here, I won't have anything to support it over here. So. I'll finish that cut with the uh, angle grinder. Okay, here I'm finishing up on the part that the axle slides through. Now I gotta create the tabs that uh, the lower and the top ones that will attach to the kingpin. Here I'm already cut them up, welding them together so I can better uh, grind at them and get them kind of all the same width. And then um, time to drill some holes. Here I'm getting ready to cut the uh, axle up. First I need to figure out what length I'm going to need. It's mad and all my dude dads figure all this out. Okay. Awesome. I like to preheat my uh, thick parts because I'm only using a Lincoln MIG welder, 125. 110 AC. Not very powerful, but it helps. So in Ackerman steering, they always recommend to go two and a quarter inches ahead of your center of your tire patch and also have the intersecting line come about an inch from the inside of your tire. Unfortunately, I didn't get this just right. It ended up being about a half inch from the center. That's good enough for me. So what I've done is, uh, as you can see, I've kind of clamped it all down, eyeballed it, measured it. This is at the right inclination. I've taken my axle beam, laid it flush to this tube here, and now with the straight edge and a white chalk coming in here. And that's the angle that I'm going to want to drill my one inch hole here. 
So I didn't catch the drilling of the hole on film, but here I'm cutting down the center of the hole so it makes a nice little saddle to attach to the kingpin housing. So I decided to go instead with a steering wheel. Um, it's going to be a lot easier. I'm not real happy with the diameter of the steering wheel. It's like small, but I had to have it small so I can get my legs in and out of the thing. Anyway, so I'm just cleaning up right now. Um, I usually just go for it for a few days, make a massive mess, and then uh, when I start tripping over shit, I start cleaning things up.